This is a video for the user M Mobile Phone 2003 on YouTube. Hey Duncan, I j just wanted to respond to your video about you uh, thinking about buying a MacBook. Uh, what I wanted to show you specifically in this video is iMovie because you talked a lot about it. So I thought I'd help by giving you a bit a basic walkthrough of the main interface. Now, I want to I want to start off by saying that I don't think iMovie is that fantastic for editing. I I think your by the way you're talking in your video. I think the eyesight will improve your videos, but I think uh, you could just just do it on Windows with that. Um, f free software that you like to use. I personally hate the interface on iMovie. Um, this is iMovie 08, by the way, not iMovie 06. I hate iMovie 06 even even more, but that's for another video. Um, besides my hatred hatred for it, I thought I'd, I'd give you a basic walkthrough of the interface and for for anyone else just to tell you a little bit about how I make my videos really because I'll go through that as well and tell you what I recommend you do to optimize your quality um, okay so we have we have two main areas um, there is five areas as you can see but I think there's two main areas um let's just get this the first area is the events area now this is where I've got my video and th that's where you'd that's that's where when you press that button to capture a video from your eyesight as it's as it says there that's where the video would go to and this kind of as it says event library is meant for collecting videos from events what you then do is um select your video so you go on a part of it by clicking there and selecting Apple key or command and A. That'll then copy all of all the movie and then you can you can drag it. You can drag it into your iMovie. If I can drag today. There we go. You can drag it into your iMovie and it's worth mentioning in there on any Mac application you you'll get this little plus button whenever you copy it from, from somewhere. Right, so that's definitely worth noting. Um I just want to go through how you'd optimize the audio in the video. I don't I actually see a decrease in quality by optimizing the video um, because it's I don't believe I believe it makes it look more unnatural but I do see an improvement in optimizing the audio um, so we're just going to click the, the little audio button on the clip the little audio button and then we'll get this box and this is pretty much what you're used to seeing as you can see I normally put the audio 200% uh, and then after doing that so it's as loud as it can be I normalize the audio so that it's it's as not it's the the levels are 
as even even as they can be for you guys. And there's some more effects that you can play around with. So those are the only two that I normally use. Um, and I see I see a drastic improvement. Okay, so um, there's a thing here beside your preview pane, a group of icons, and that's the media library. So if you click on your music, you can um, see a collection from your iTunes music library, and it's worth noting that it has to be on iTunes, and you can just drag that onto there and as you notice it selects the whole clip so that's all you have to do and you can obviously play the things in there um so yeah that's worth noting and you can add things from your podcast um and it it gives you some ones there that I'd actually n never noticed before, to be honest. Um, but yeah, those are worth playing around with. It's worth noting, of course, that if you're going to want to use some of your music, it's going to have to be in your iTunes library. Here's the photos, which I don't use very much, I have to say, because... Um, because I don't use iPhoto for management of my photos. I just use the Finder. Um, and then we've got the, the titles, which you just drag onto your project and see how much you want it to I can actually see your bum tum. See how much you want it to fill. So I'll just select the whole thing there. And I'll put test and press done. And if I play it, we'll notice that it now has the audio and it has the title. Um, so yeah, and you can add lower thirds and everything like that. So that's a basic workflow of the interface. Um, the one good tip that I would recommend is that you can export it to a variety of formats. If you go to export movie, you can only really export it to .move, but you can like choose the quality and stuff. For the YouTube um, preset, which is likely what you're going to want to use, mobile phone 2003 it um i would always recommend going for the medium because i w i w it's, it's just heaps better than the original um prison <laughs> um so yeah that's pretty much it and just as a side note i would recommend like trying to keep on some of those because uh, I've this video is high quality and I, I've gained over 40 no like 20 gigabytes just from deleting these old movies so I would recommend keeping on top of that like I don't um so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's helped if you like this video please subscribe Comment and rate. Thanks for watching.